Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I just did a Divine Masculine Twin Flame read for you. If you want to go check that out, please do. Um, all my information is below. My website and my email are both twinflames3344.com and at gmail.com. If you should have any questions, certainly reach out and email to me. And thank you guys all for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. And please do so if you like the content and please share the information with others. And I'm going to get right into the oracle cards here. We have the Ascension deck first. And all week we're calling in um, Jesus and Mary Magdalene, or Mary Magdalene and Jesus, ladies first, um, for playing out the, uh, the death of Jesus and the rise. Uh, I keep getting the information that, that he doesn't want to be seen on the cross. He wants to be seen at the table breaking bread. And there's more messages in the read today about um, uh, the playing out of Jesus and Mary Magdalene that actually he was playing out with the death as within so without the reason he died and played that out was because of his own guilt for what the, for failing to awaken the others and for what he had done to Mary Magdalene because he chose to deal with them more than her and then she had to experience everything he did as a twin through the, the cross okay so it's very interesting how that came through. But let's see what they have to say. And we have um, the Ascension deck, and today is uh, April 11, 2019. It's of justice, truth, and balance, and building up to, there's going to be all these energies, that very, heavy, very, very heavy energies coming in right now. And we're playing out the betrayal energies leading up to the cross, okay, on the 18th of the full moon, and then the rising on the 21st for Easter. So you're literally going to feel these energies playing out for the masculine. Alright, so, for everyone watching and the best and highest good of all is concerned, what do we need to know, what do we need to learn? We are asking Mary Magdalene and Jesus, please, what is your guidance for us today? This is just for a number. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is gold and silver cloak, number 26, which is the Page of Wands. So it's that very excitable, inspired energy of a young man. I am in total balance and harmony. And 26 is also an 8 of that balanced energy. Talks about seventh he hollow earth and seventh heaven. Wisdom, power, giving and receiving. Off and the courage to love which makes you magnetic then to people, animals, situations, so that you can attract all that is for your highest good. So you can imagine yourself wearing the gold and silver cloak, so you draw in the angel sonics to purify the energy around you, to expect the unexpected and the miraculous. I am in total balance and harmony. Um, the two cards that came out, the first is from Mary Magdalene, is the Sphinx, which is Akashic Records as well. It's 20, it's judgment, okay? And we have the judgment coming up here with the cross, okay, when Jesus was judged, his final judgment. The Sphinx energy has always been on earth and watches over us. The high priest Ra brought it from Atlantis and placed it within the statue of the Sphinx in Egypt. You receive a charge of God force when you think about it, so relax and accept it now. The Sphinx contains the fifth dimensional records for earth and the information within the crystal skulls. You're invited to visit the tunnel from the Sphinx to hollow earth. Okay, so we've Hollow Earth came up twice here now, and a portal of wisdom linked to the ascended aspect of Mars. From here, you can radiate peace and oneness throughout the universe. The affirmation is I connect to the God force within the Sphinx. So maybe with these very intense energies, maybe a very good time to focus on Egypt and specifically the Sphinx to see what kind of energy you get from it in your meditation. So let me know in the comments later if you do this. So 20 of judgment. And then for Jesus, we have Paul the Venetian, which is all about the creative arts, music, all that. It's 37 of the King of Cups. Paul the Venetian, the great master Paul's koan of the third ray. He lifts people's spirits and sets their souls free to create beauty and inspiration through music and art, and also in practical ways. This card encourages you to communicate your essence by writing, painting, or in any heartfelt manner. 
Call on Master Paul to help you express your visions, and he will co-create them with you. These visions will hold such light that people will be touched by them, thereby accelerating the plan for Earth. Paul carries the flame of liberty and is helping to set you free. The affirmation is, I express myself creatively and harmoniously. Okay? So that's so important about um, these heavy energies too, you know, whenever you do something creative, it definitely helps you to escape and get away. When I play music, it always takes me away no matter what. Definitely brings you into your high vibrations very quickly. All right, so it's like, uh, so Mary Magdalene's bringing in the, for the, for the feminines to connect to their high vibrations etherically and for the masculines to, to do creative hobbies to help them stay in a vi high vibration. And then we have to count these. And by the way, the bottom of the pile I have to count is Mary Magdalene, okay? Which is 35, the wounded warrior. We're getting out of that victim mentality. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay? So we were get basically getting towering inferno and fire and flames, all right? So we have 16 of the tower. So those energies are definitely coming up, okay? So then we have 16 of the tower and then two more cards, one of each magician for the masculine and the feminine, which then, and I'm losing my, my voice, so it's saying you're not accepting your powers, to know the power that you are and use your abilities we have 2 plus the 16 is then 18, which is the moon, which is the full moon coming up on the day that, that Jesus died, okay? The tower and the moon, both coming together on the full moon here, the second Libra full moon. Okay, so that's definitely the message here from Mary Magdalene and Jesus. Okay, we have the past life deck here. It was just 7-11. 7 is the chariot and 11 is justice. So boldly moving in for justice. And again, I want to express from the read that I did today that the guidance I was getting is the masculine can avoid the pain by, by coming forward to his feminine to make retribution, apologize, or just talk. <laughs> um, if he does that on his own before the full moon. But if he waits, then he will suffer those more painful consequences of the tower. All right, so April 11, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? We are asking Mary Magdalene and Jesus, please. What is our guidance? <sighs> Take a deep breath, guys. Bottom of the deck is spirituality and religion, upside down. Okay, so this is what it looks like, upside up, right side up. It's saying to put that stuff away for now, okay? Um, it's saying conserve your healing energies right now, because these energies are so great. As well as, uh, don't worry about reading a lot, because it drains your energy. To, it's basically all the stuff about conserving your energy. So don't do things by a small amount of light. Give yourself a lot of light to help you stay in that higher energy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there's seven cards here in the pile that I'm supposed to count. And it's forgiveness reversed. Don't be overly forgiving, it's saying. So if your masking comes back, and he needs to apologize because he did you wrong. You have to allow him that and he needs to earn your trust, okay? And I've gotten that before too where the masculine does not, he doesn't want you to give him a break. It doesn't mean he can't be loving, but it's like say, oh, don't worry about it. Don't be like that, okay? Forgive. but don't let someone walk all over you.
That's also saying this is not forgiveness either, right? Where we have forgiveness, but she's giving him dirty looks. So to let go of that as well, okay? But also in general, that unforgiveness, you know, will keep you apart because you need to always forgive each other. You need to, because you're forgiving yourself. Remember, whatever you do to your twin, you're doing to you. So we have from Mary Magdalene, mother reversed so this is what it looks like upright so you get the energy but it is reversed um, for a lot of you it's time to let go of mothers or children both dynamics don't try to control Especially if it's a mother who's been, you know, bad to you. And don't let her control your children either. Like if she, if you know that a lot of your wounds are because of how your mother raised you and she hasn't changed, why do you want her children, why do you want her to babysit your children and raise them? So it's kind of bringing me those energies. But also be forgiving when people change. Once people clear their wounds, we allow them back in. If, as long as they're going to be loving with us, we'll be loving with them. Let's see what else comes up. So from Jesus, we have medicine man or woman. Okay, so let's use, you know, use your healing abilities. Catch a dream. But don't kill any birds to do it. <laughs> I'm getting like they're hanging. Like <laughs> It's like Jesus saying like him on the cross. This is why he doesn't want to be seen as hanging on the cross. This is, these, this is like little dead birds hanging. That's what he's referencing. I don't want to be seen like that. Nor do I want to see, you know birds killed for their feathers you know if you have a bird that died you know it doesn't really matter what happens to the feathers but you see the point oh and also look all these little bunches of feathers they look like they each have two heads on top and don't forget it's not just him there it's him and Mary Magdalene you're both together in whatever pain that you suffer Oh, and also I'm getting this because I was guided at some point to bring your, when I meditate a lot of times, I'll bring my two fingers to my thumb. There's some kind of, um, you know, energy flow there that's important. Also two is one. And the circle. So, you know, how I'm always talking about the, the zero, you know, zero is the source energy contained by the human body. And you see here, you know, it's like a spider web where, you know, they always bring all of their little goodies to the center, right? The black widow I'm getting. But you know, the center is supposed to be your heart. That all dreams stem from the heart first. He also has a rubber band on his fingers here. And I was talking about that before too, the rubber band effect, where like uh, traveling distance, like pulls on your twin, you know, like a rubber band. So if after it's been stretched really hard, you know, it snaps eventually, because it can't take it anymore. So you, your twin can only stay away from you for so long before the rubber band breaks. And it doesn't have to be physically traveling. It can etherically travel as well, and that still pulls on the rubber band when you pull when you travel away from your masculine or away from your feminine.
I'm also getting from putting the cards together that your mother doesn't know everything. You know how your mother always knows everything about how to heal you? This is what you need. It's saying, you know, listen to your medicine man. Whether it's, I'm getting more alternative here now, but of course there's a need for traditional medicine as well. Incorporate all of those things. Don't just assume because your mother tells you that it's right. That's what I'm getting at. And that's coming from Mary Magdalene, okay? So we have seven in the pile, which is the chariot. And then one again, one and one again, the two magicians for nine. So, the, so it's the chariot, that your chariot awaits. And then nine is completion and of the collective consciousness. They connect to all. Okay, let's see what we have. This is the journey of love. Take another deep breath. This is uh, April 11, 2019. April 11, 2019. April 11, 2019. This is for everyone watching. The best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? We are asking Mary Magdalene and Jesus today. What is our guidance? What is our guidance? whole deck fill up. All right, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? What is this? Mary Magdalene, Jesus. They give me a lot to count. Mm -hmm. Okay, the bottom of the deck is Rings of Time. Rings of Time, and it's 44, which is Mastering. It's the Four of Cups also. Mastering, grounding, and integrating your abilities. All your emotions, your thoughts, right? Your passions, whatever it may be, and the rings of time. Uh, we have again one card and one card. So to, to make sure you empower yourself and know your power, don't be afraid of expressing your power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so we have 18 again, confirming again the full moon and the death of Jesus, okay? And we have lovers at the top of this pile, which is 57 is the three of swords, okay? It's the third party dynamic, whether it's Mary and Jesus and their third energy, whether it's a mother in between them, whether it's the people in between them, it doesn't matter. There's always going to be a third energy that gets in between. But that's the 18 of the moon. And then we have 11 again for justice. That's truth and balance from Mary Magdalene. And for Jesus, it was number two, the high priestess. Within nothing, there is everything. So it's like her supporting him of the just, you know, being judged and the justice that was not... Um, given to him on that day and her give it's him giving props to the high priestess Mary Magdalene who was with him and all the way okay so 18 plus 20 again is the final judgment of his hanging on the eight on the uh, 18 all right so let's see what we have here with these cards if anything comes up for me so the toroidal field comes up immediately the eruption of light and then I always see this card as an ultrasound of a baby. So some of you may be getting pregnant for sure. Or this is just the birth of your new life in the toroidal field. Um, fully connected to all your chakra system. It's, things are not always a, exactly a perfect circle. Sometimes they're a little off. Sometimes they're a little oval. Sometimes they're a little jagged and rough. But things always smooth out in the end. It's like I'm getting, it's like going down, you know, the tunnel slides, look at the kids' places. How much fun it is to jump through the tunnels and you have to get through the tunnels and then get to the last slide to get down. Somebody might be having twins as well.
I'm also getting an African woman with a with a uh, a white hat. Or someone who may have had head surgery who's going to be fine. You know, her head's wrapped in bandages. I'm getting Mother Mary coming through. But she is, she is still at the heart of all of you, watching over you and your children. that just like the troidal field is represented represented throughout everything through the human body and the universe as well so is the womb so like your womb for the fem for the females is the same thing as the world for her because the world is her womb this is the messages i was getting okay so this is the mother the third party coming in here so you have 11 and two so let's start with two two is within nothing there's everything from a point of stillness a moment a complete universe is opening up to you endlessly expanding your every thought and intention sends ripples of consciousness through the universe what a creative being you are you're sending consciousness into motion bringing your creation into being with every inner desire with every whispered wish the universe receives your yearning and aspirations with open arms returning them to you as manifestation in your life what is really in your heart? Open your arms, sigh, speak your truth aloud to the loving universe and receive it as your destiny manifesting now. And it's just 11, 22, 11. 22 is the fool taking a leap of faith and 11 is justice. This oracle brings you a, mes a message to you, something that you want on its way to you. It may seem to be coming out of nowhere, no sign on the horizon to give you hope, yet it is coming to you anyway. It is spiritual law that you cannot be denied the manifestation of your heart's desire and spirit connecting with me. Trust and remain open to the tide of universal love rushing toward you, swelling within you now. And the poem simply states, the wind moves gently through the trees, quiet water flows, life's song calls softly. And then we have eruption of light, which is 11. And that says, your every prayer is a power packed eruption of light beamed into the divine presence. Some pray with fear or doubt, as though the prayer is not doing much at all. Yet you understand that prayer is powerful, that it is divine action set in motion. Your power of divine prayer emerges from your heart and out through your throat, whether you speak or sing your prayer silently within your own mind or aloud for all the world to hear. Let your prayers be vocalized as feeling expressed to the divine, to the divine in the words or song, if you choose. You have the power to heal at your fingertips and vocal cords. Through your voice, you can heal. Let your hands be joined in prayer position at your heart and your mouth open and let the breath of your spirit move through your throat, creating sound. As you speak it, so shall it be. This oracle holds a message for you. Your words have more power than you may realize and you have a special ability to heal with words, to bring light where it is needed and to uplift through simple kindness spoken. You also have a message to bring. It might be an urge to write or speak on topics that are close to your heart. You may also simply have the need at a soul level to share from the heart with others when you're engaged in conversations. This oracle says your voice is part of your power. Do use it. And the poem here simply states, life begins with love. To complete itself again, symmetry is born. Or reflection, as opposed to balance or harmony, it's bringing them all together, integrated. Okay, so it's big wheat. Just I think it's just to conserve your energy right now. Because I'm not getting as much connection as I usually get. It's to conserve your energy, to deal with the energies that are coming in right now, and to the energies building up to the transformation on the 18th of the full moon in Libra, and then the resurrection on the 21st for Easter. So it's kind of interesting to see what will play out here. Guys, have an amazing day, and rise and be loved, guys.